In part three of the series, we're asked the portion of the curve y is equal to x squared lying between the points 0 and 0 and 2 and 4 is rotated about the y-axis. Find the area of the surface generated. The difference between this question and the previous question of the series is that this time the function is being rotated about the y-axis. And as a result of that, our formula changes slightly. Notice that this time in our formula, instead of a y here, it's an x. Everything else stays the way it is. So let's go ahead and find out what our derivative is of this function. That's not hard to do. We have y is equal to x squared. Using the power rule, we end up with 2x dy over dx. So we can replace 2x into here and replace a with 0 and b with 2. So we have the surface area is equal to 2 pi times the integral between 0 and 2 this x and this x, of the integral x times the square root of 1 plus 2x being squared. So we have 4x squared dx. Next, we need to integrate this. And we can do that by using u substitution. So I'll use u is equal to 1 plus 4x squared. Taking the derivative implicitly with respect to x gives us du is equal to 8x dx, therefore dx is equal to du over 8x. So our integral with dx replaced with du over 8x and the radicand replaced with u gives us the following. This x and this x will cancel each other out and we can pull out 1 over 8 so that we have 2 pi over 8 times the integral between 0 and 2 for the function the square root of u du. Finding the integral of the square root of u isn't hard. First, I'll change this expression, the square root of u into u to the power of half. Add 1 to the exponent and divide the term by 1 over 2 plus 1, which gives us u to the power of 1.5, which is equivalent to 3 over 2, adding these two up, over 3 over 2, giving us a final expression like this. Two times u, which is equal to 1 plus 4x squared, to the power of 3 over 2 over 3. I've just found the integral of the following. So I'm going to replace this part of the expression with what I just found. So I'll need to evaluate this when x is equal to 2 and evaluate that when x is equal to 0. Subtract it, and that will give us our surface area. Let's find out what the answer to this is when x is equal to 2. We get 2 bracket 1 plus 4 bracket 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1.5 divided by 3. We get 46.72. Next, we'll find out what this is equal to when x is equal to 0. 2 bracket 1 plus this part becomes 0 to the power of 1.5 divided by 3, 2 over 3. So 46.72 minus 2 thirds gives us times this part now, 2 times pi divided by 8. This gives us a surface area of 36.17 or simply 36.2. Our surface area is 36 Point two units squared. And there you have it. That is how to find the surface area of solids using integrals.